Now after understanding the displacement and the momentum thickness, now let's look at the last thickness that is the energy thickness which is denoted by delta triple star. Okay, so as we had a loss of uh, you can say uh, mass flow rate in the displacement thickness, uh, the momentum per second decrease in the momentum thickness, so this would have the energy decrease. Which energy? Because we are talking about flow means we have a kinetic energy. So the kinetic energy, let us say, let, let's start with the lowest unit that is the mass. So mass would be rho into u into b dy. That is the mass flow rate through a section which is at a distance y and of height dy. The width of the plate is b. Okay, so this is the mass. If I divide this by 2 and multiply this with the velocity u square, this becomes the kinetic energy, the kinetic energy, right? And uh, this is per second. And this is with the boundary layer. This is with boundary layer. Now if I take the kinetic energy per second without the boundary layer, then you will have rho into u small u b dy upon 2 into capital U square. So but obviously capital U is the maximum velocity. So this would be higher and this would be lower. So there is a decrease in the kinetic energy per second through a section with the development of a boundary layer. So I can say that decrease in the kinetic energy per second, okay, that is due to the boundary layer, this is equal to 1 by 2 rho into b dy into u into capital U square minus small u square. Now if I find out for the entire section, BB, if you remember the uh, figure from the last video, I will have to integrate it from 0 to delta. That is it. Now let us say we move the section up by a value delta triple star so as to decrease the kinetic energy per second through the uh, section where there is no boundary layer phenomena. So let me decrease the area for this and let us say this is the degree. So this much has been taken off and this is delta star. Okay, so the decrease due to this displacement is equal to this decrease. Right, so you will have decrease due to this displacement will be, you will have rho into capital U, that is the uh, maximum velocity through it, B, it is the width into delta star, triple star in this case. So this is the mass. If I divide this by 2 and multiply this by capital U square, this becomes the kinetic energy per second or this is the kinetic energy per second which is not a part of the flow now. So this is equal to that, so you can equate them you will have rho into capital U into B into delta star upon 2 into capital U square is equal to 1 by 2 integral 0 to delta rho into U into B into capital U square minus small u square into dy. I can strike off 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 from these two sides. I can strike off rho from here, I can strike off b from here, okay. So this would give me delta triple star is equal to, this is u cube, let me take this as it is onto the other side, so you will have integral 0 to delta small u square upon capital U square into capital U into let me take u square from this that is capital u square common so you will have capital u square common and you will be left with 1 minus small u square upon capital u square dy so you can get rid of this easily okay and now you would be left with so this is not 
square this is only small u so the value of the mathematical expression to find out the energy thickness is delta triple star is equal to integral 0 to delta small u upon capital U into 1 minus small u square upon capital U square dy. So this is almost similar to what we found out in the displacement thickness and the momentum thickness. The only difference with the momentum thickness is that you had small u by capital U over here but here you have small u square upon capital U square. So that is the only difference you have with the momentum thickness. So now we have done all the three thicknesses for a boundary layer flow. Now let's move on to some numerical solving on this topic.